we back, we back. Don't worry about it. We back. Why you on Floss Magazine TV? Uh-huh. Yeah, no uh-huh. Uh-huh. All right, man. You here in New York talking to the game, superstar from the West Coast. And, you know, you out here in New York doing the VH1. You want to tell them real quick about that? Right? Uh, you tell them about this guy's son part I got going right now. This guy's son part. Yeah, that's what matters. All right. Nah, but man, uh, you really said I was doing you know what? Uh, you was out here for the VH1. You know, you just oh, yeah, the over there. Yeah, the hip-hop I, I did the hip-hop honors and justice, man. I was, um, I did, um, I did the Ghetto Boys, man, um, on the Bushwick Bill verse. Okay. Got it cracking out there. I was on stage with Willie D, the legend, you know what I'm saying, Willie D. Yeah, from the ghetto girls. Yeah. yeah. That's pretty hot. Yeah, we talked earlier about, um, you know, New York calling and things like that. You wanna, um, you know, tell us about that again? Your feeling about New York? And- Man, Harlem, man, like, if I was from New York, I'd be from Harlem, straight up. Yeah. Yeah, you know, I, I, I got a mouthpiece on me. I talk too fast. I move too slick. I'm too smooth. You know what I'm saying? You see, see the waves. I know your ladies. Your ladies out there, you see the waves. You know, I'm brushing them like that. My brush game is like the muscles. You see the muscles? Yeah. They, they wave sideways and all kind of shit. The muscles got the waves on lock. <laughs> no doubt. Yeah, so you know, you know, let's talk about that album, man. Yeah, man, that shit was crazy. Yeah, that was crazy. Yeah, um, with Fab, Jada Kiss, and you know, all the superstars and everything that's on there. I picked up my phone and I called, I got the beats. I called my homies and they delivered, man. You know what I'm saying? It's the same way on the red out, man. Whenever I call people, they just, you know, they get in. It ain't hard for me for game to get in with nobody. You get it done. Yeah, that's mad love. And then, uh, you know, we talked a little bit earlier about the, um, the rides and everything like that. So we'll get it. If you don't mind, man, you know, we want to show, show it to them again because oh, yeah, yeah. it's kind of dark. Yeah, they definitely got to see those. Yeah. Wrong pictures, wrong pictures. <laughs> Thank you so much. Well, sorry, sorry. Show you all the bikes first, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, right there, that's that, that's that Ducati boy, that 1090, man, that joint, that $40,000 right there, man. You know what I'm saying? That's down payment on the crib and team that jersey. Yeah, that's what Yeah, you got that joint. Here we got it. Yeah. Right, you got that Honda Rapsor, man. Yeah, that's that Honda joint. It's like you see your man racing on the, on the motorcycle shit. That's the big, that's the Range Rover behind him on them 26s. I call that motherfucker Snow White. <laughs> and I even got the doors in the back seat. Shit, the doors, yeah, they, they ride the back seat. We're gonna show them some cars, man. And this ain't nothing. I wish I had all my cars on here, man. Cause then you see how I'm rolling. Cause I be, I be laughing at niggas on there. And they be like, yo, think you took all game money. Game ain't got no money, nigga. Lie to you, man. Game get, game get money, man. That's that Ford or Porsche 2010 Panamera. You know what I'm saying? See that? Uh, yeah, game got game. I be hooping. I be hooping on the, you know, on the, on the court right there in the front yard. I be windmilling this shit off the, off the top of the car. Hold on. Hold on. It ain't over. It ain't over though. Hold on. That right there, 2010, Dodge Challenger. Yeah. Sitting in front of the crib out in the suburbs, man. We do it real big in the suburbs. You know, we keep it hood in the suburbs, though. You know, it comes a, it comes a time in your life that you gotta move out the hood. You know what I'm saying? And this say when you move out the hood, you gotta, you know, you gotta do it like that, man. Hold on, let me put that down a little bit closer. See people so they can see that that wet candy paint. There you know, we go. So that motherfucker said you got the deuce that has the suicide doors. You know the doors don't open. You nigga, know, nigga gotta hop through that. <laughs> so even nigga, even, 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 <laughs> All right, so uh, you want to tell us if you Yeah, 
technical difficulties with uh, you were saying about the album. Your new album coming up. Yeah, the album's crazy, man. We got um, Raw Production on there, Dr. Dre. I don't even need to mention nobody else after that. <laughs> For real. We got Rick Ross on the album, T.I. Benny Siegel, uh, shit, Robin Dick, Nelly Picado, Justin Timberlake, Ray, Lee Fiasco, Shit Dog. This nigga's on the album. That's why I put inside the album. Like the overall, yeah, people fans and all that. Fans named it and fans had it. Like everything they asked for. This the album where all the collaborations that I didn't do yet, but they, whatever they asked for, I went and did. Like they said, you know, I took, you know, I took a poll and I was like, who you want to work with? Like, like number one, so we made the ask for. So I don't know if you made it, came through, he did the joint. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, like that. You know, Tato always like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so it's cool. I was like, what was it like working with Aunt Nelly Potato and Lupe? She said they so much out of it. Nelly I mean, uh, Lupe's sick. Yeah. Lupe and Lupe's freestyle. Yeah, so, and then uh, Nelly Potato? She got it. Yeah. yeah. She got her voice as crazy. Okay, that's what's up. And uh, who are some of the other features you got on there? Good Wall, Super, Snoop, Drake. So what inspired you like to do what a lot of uh, artists from the West Coast haven't done yet, which is like crossover? East Coast on the I just listen to Rock Kim more than them. That's how it happened, man. You know what I'm saying? That's how I crossed over. I listen to Rock Kim more than you niggas, man. That's what's up. How old are you? No, no, no. Yeah, so um, what's the, what's the relief here? Uh, I'm going to come out sometime in August, probably. Yeah, you mentioned, um, we talked about 50 Cent a little earlier, though. If you don't mind, we talked about it again. Like, uh, at this point in my career, anything, any shots that I take a picture or something, it's, just, it's really just, you know what I'm saying, like, just poking, poking fun and shit, like, you know, a little man, I don't know how he feel, but he go with me, man, I ain't, that shit is over with, but, uh, yeah. What about, um, doing something together in the future? That's up to your mans, man, I'll let your mans go, you know, go hit your mans with a little something, something, take the Frost Magazine down there. Put the camera in front of him and show him what I said and see what he got to say about it. No doubt. So, but it's, these days, it's all 100, man. You got no time for games, man. Yeah, no and, doubt. Um, you know, we like, I think me and dude just need to sit down and have a one on one. Man. The boss and you just chill and really, you know, kick it. Now, watch him. I'm getting, you know, snuff this. Yeah, so that's what's up, man. Yeah, that's what's up, man. gonna wrap it up in a few minutes. So we are kicking and watching the game, making halftime. I mean, we made out for this game right now. Uh, we already know, but you know, we'd like to hear from you. Like, how, how long do you think it's going to go last for? We got LA in this game right here, man. So how many games do you think it's going to go for? Yeah. <laughs> Straight, sweep these niggas, man. Sweep it up. Yeah. That's what's up. Yeah, so, um, I mean, Shake, what inspired Shake, man? That's a pretty dope record. Yeah, Drake came through the track and shit, and I just ripped it. Like, I feel like I'm missing the favorite shit, and I ripped it. Yeah. Yeah, and then um, the song you got with Fabulous, which is one of my favorites, by the way, Never Stop Hustling. I damn near wake up to that every day, man. That's the shit. Yeah, yeah, it got leaked, so I had to put it out. It's going to be on the album and shit. Oh, okay. It's still going to be on the album? Yeah, no. Whenever something get leaked, that's like a spot I need. I need that spot. I got to feel that shit on something about it. Now, with, with, uh, with the mixtape so dope, man, how you going to step it up for that, from that level to get to where you are, uh, you know, for the album? Well, I mean, you have so many, so many dope songs, so tracks. Yeah. Alright, so yeah. another one? Yeah. What can we look for that release there? See that? Now that's the bartender. Yeah. She put me on this Patron and Passion food right here. It's empty. Yeah. This one. This, this, this the hottest bartender in the NYC.